So 1998, Google was founded and I was using this big clunky computer. However, I did not expect more than 20 years later, computers can be turned into handheld game consoles. So if you use 1997, can you make a handheld game console computer? Let me challenge you. At that time, the most popular game console was Nintendo's Game Boy. At that time, Intel has long released the Pentium processor. If you make a handheld game console, the main board is too big. Industrial main board is very small. It comes with keyboard, mouse, and VGA interface. However, the body is still a bit too large. Suddenly I thought of the medical apparatus of the 1990s. Most of them used the Windows 95 system. I immediately went to the scrap station and dismantled a few pieces. This is the core of a million level medical apparatus. It supports Intel Pentium and AMD C-6 processors. There is a graphics card chip on the front and the North Bridge chip. There is memory, video memory on the back and the chip from the South Bridge. Although it is small, but it's a complete computer, floppy drive, USB, Vega, serial port, parallel port, keyboard, then the hard disk interface, everything is available. This was the ultimate technology in the 90s. The old games used to have a 4 to 3 ratio. So I found an antique for 80 PLCD mini main board, connect the LCD driver board through V. The next step is to design a shell according to the proportion of the LCD and the main board. We start with a sketch. Then perform 3D modeling according to the sketch. After the design is done, it is sliced ready to print. Spray paint when printing is complete. The keyboard chip uses 82K698. And then it's plotted P, C, B. This project is open source. Manual, patch, welding. Install the keyboard cap. It's using a Logitech trackball mouse. Organize the internal layout. The hard drive uses an old V-shaped hard drive. Sand it with acrylic. Make an LCD cover of the lake. Install a warm battery indicator. Measure the voltage. It can be completed without any problems. And finally close the lid. Put labels on them. Plug in the VHard drive. Turn it on 